Good evening, my friends. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I am fine, and you, teacher? Ready for action, my friend. Yes. Oh. It's good to see you. Yes. Uh, me too, teacher. Me too. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> let's let's begin. Good evening, my dear ones. Today is February the eleventh, and today is Friday. And the body knows it. The body knows it <laughs> that today is Friday. Uh, today we're going to be working on describe effective branding. Teacher branding, like uh, a liquor? No, no, no. No brandy, branding. Okay, so we're going to be talking about giving names to products. Okay. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. This is the objective of the lesson until Monday, okay? And uh, this is the class objective to describe effective branding. <clears throat> Tonight, we're going to be working on flowers, uh, baby naming, vocabulary, put it into practice, and then we're going to finish with a couple of riddles. Okay, before we get into the warm up, let's see who is here and who isn't here. Good Good evening, hello. <coughs> hello, Domus Min, how are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, my friend. It's good to see how are you. you. Fine. Thank you, man. Okay, thank you to God. Yes, thanks God. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, let's begin. We have Ada Patricia Linares. Present, teacher. Excellent, my friend. Welcome on board. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Ana Selmi Chévez. Ana Michelle. Present. Excellent. Ana Michelle. Santa Maria. Present. Darwin Eduardo Ayala. Okay, eh, Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Welcome on board. Guadalupe Carmen Lopez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Jose Carlos Arqueta. Hey, present teacher. Excellent, my friend. Welcome on board. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present. Okay, welcome on board, my friend. Welcome on Thank board. You. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Okay, Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board, my friend. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Excellent, Don Osmin. Welcome on board. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Rafael Ernesto González. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez. Jan Elizabeth Hernández. Zulma Rosaura López. Present. Nice. Flor de María Carballo. 
Bonilla. Ender Bonilla. No, René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Dani viene teacher, Nelson Sánchez. Ok, right. Dani Adalberto Fuentes. No. Ricardo Alex Fuentes. Present teacher. Dani is a dancing free time. He's dancing now, right? Eduardo. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, imagine. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. I'm here. Nice. Carlos Verónica Vázquez. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Now let's continue. We're going to begin working on flowers. We're going to begin talking about flowers. Do you like flowers? Yes, I like it. Yes, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do too. What's your favorite flower? The uh, Excuse me? <laughs> My favorite flower is uh, the class. It's como los son como los cartuchos, son blancos con amarillo. Oh, okay. Never heard of it. Never heard of that. Ah, okay. I knew yeah, Alcatraz was a prison in San Francisco. I knew that. Maybe maybe, maybe Alcatraz, Alcatraz is a is a beard. Is a beard. <laughs> maybe it's a beard. Okay. All right. Somebody else. <laughs> What's your favorite? It's green and rose. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, teacher, teacher, my, my, my preferred flower is the orchidea. Are you, orchids are your favorite. Okay. Some people, some people like Let me see. Let me see if I can write it. Yeah, I'm going to write here in the yellow part. Okay. And somebody said rose, a north. Yes, my friend. Is a in the chat me WhatsApp. Your favorite is flower. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a flower. Yes. What? What? WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a flower. Nay tulip teacher. A tulip. tulip. Yes. Tulip. Okay. Tulip. Mm -hmm. And yellow and red. Yellow and red. Green. Maybe, maybe carnation. Maybe chrysanthemum. Okay. Maybe bongambile. Okay. <laughs> Or maybe the lily, the water lily. Lily is lirio, right? Lily. The water uh, lily. Uh, Familia. Yes. Familia. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, lily. Okay. Lily. Uh huh. Okay, water water lily. It's another one like um, similar to the water lily. Okay. Another one that is similar to the water lily. 
What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, lily, carnation, tulip, porky, rose, a sunflower. Daisy. Daisy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Daisy. Okay, or the opposite. Daisy. Okay, so these are some, some beautiful flowers. The one that people call veranera is bangambile. Okay, so they're also beautiful, okay? Beautiful flowers. So over here we have some, okay? Some flowers uh, to illustrate. What's the purpose of flowers in nature? What do you think flowers exist? Why do we have flowers? What is the purpose of a flower in the plant? Why does a, a plant have flowers? <coughs> Ideas? Maybe, maybe contribute. 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 Ah, contribute uh, to the planet with the pollen. Pollination. Pollination. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes. Uh huh. Exactly. The thing is that um, flowers. We have uh, some flowers have two parts: the feminine part, and the masculine part. <coughs> Still, the corolla and others. What you say, like for uh, being pollinized, but. Some plants are feminine, other plants are masculine. Here we need bees and we need uh, butterf butterflies, bees, birds, and other animals to pollinize these plants. Okay. Uh, so the, pr the purpose of flowers is opinions. What's the purpose of flowers? For Yes, it is important the flower in in pollinize uh -huh. when the bee pollination when the bee uh, transportation for they trans flower flower they to flower pollen from flower to flower pollen, yeah. pollen. Mm -hmm. also it's important for the look in the garden. Okay. Yes. It's it's important for details. For details. <laughs> yes, of course. They are important for yes. details. But in the plant, in the plant, they are reproduction. Reproduction, right? So like um, they are masculine, feminine, and they reproduce. So mm -hmm. plants are for reproduction. Of course, they use pollination for reproduction. But um, let's say if matching that pollination doesn't exist, we don't have more plants, more trees, because you know, a, a masculine cannot have other plant, and a feminine alone cannot do anything either. So they have to be the combination of both. Okay, so then that's the purpose of flowers in nature, but. Why do, I mean, what do us humans use flowers for? What do us humans use flowers for? Uh, I think. Uh, teacher, teacher a, a question. Yes, the flower, the flower and the plants. So, Ignacio, would you please repeat? Yeah, only a, a, a question. A question, yeah. Do you know the, the, the old flower is done a beauty? You know, to exist, the plant cannibal and flowers, you know. Mm -hmm. In the, maybe in the jungle, in 
Yeah. In Africa or Brazil or maybe in El Salvador. I don't know. Yes. This is uh, only an opinion. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There are some plants, some flowers that are herbivores. Um, okay. That's that's true. What do you What humans use flowers for? The human use the flowers to produce perfumes. Yeah. We use them for perfumes. Yeah. For decorating the house. To decorate the house, exactly. Yeah. The house, the church, decorates the church, the house, and of course, to keep gardens right to keep beautiful gardens okay what else do we do us humans use flowers for <laughs> one i mean or are two what else it's mother's day you give your mother a flower detail okay make yeah. The lady is happy. Yeah, the, the flower is a business. <laughs> it's a business. <laughs> Generate a business. Okay, what else do we use flowers for? You know, that flowers that are for food. Yes, for produce oil. Yes. Uh, some of some are used to produce oil. Uh -huh. yeah. Some others are used to, to eat, like our national flower. Yeah. We eat our uh -huh. Also to make drinks. For example, uh, what flowers are used for uh, for drinks to make drinks to make refreshment Jamaican flowers Jamaica mm -hmm. Jamaica tea lime ah, okay for tea right there are others that are used for tea and uh, there are some that are med medicinal. Medicine. I mean, medicine, chamomile, and others, right? Are used for medicine when we are sick. And there are others that are used for poison. Uh, in the jungle, some natives, the jungle, they know uh, the capacity of, uh, let's say, of the lethal capacity that some flowers have. So they go, they get some flowers, they get the spears in the flowers, and then they shoot the flower, the, the arrow to kill the animals. Sometimes they don't really need to hit the animal, only with a scratch, and the animal poof, dies. And then they hit. Uh, even though these tribes only live 35 years, because uh, the poison accumulates in the body and then they die very young. They die of several diseases when they are 35, 36 years old. Teacher, uh, poison and books, you know. Sorry, my friend. Poison and ah. drugs. Poison and drugs. Yes, for example, the puppy, puppy, the one that is amapola, right, the puppy, used to extract heroin, one of the most potent drugs. Exactly. Uh -huh. And we have... Yes, my friend? Florifundia is drug also. Yeah, Florifundia. People get really high when they make refreshment. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 It's... They sleep too much for Florifundia, you know. Yes, it's psychotropic, so it's, uh -huh. okay, so these are some purposes. Now, 
Can you imagine the world without flowers? Just imagine the world without flowers. The, the world without flowers, die of the human. Yes, we die because there will be no food. No, yeah. Yeah. For, no me, for me, the colors, the colors of the world is out without flowers. Without flowers, the colors of the world would be out. Yes, that's true. Okay. So we should keep flowers in our houses, protect them, eat them when we have to eat them or use them as medicine when we need to. And on Monday, give one rose to your the person that you love, right? Okay. Yes. So that would be really nice. All right, let's continue my friends. We're going to continue with our next topic. The next topic is naming a baby. Naming a baby. You may say, teacher, what a funny, funny topic. Why are we going to talk about naming a baby? You're going to see later why, okay? We're going to have um, uh, these questions first. Please discuss the following questions. Why is a baby's name important? How are babies' names chosen? How do people choose the babies' names? What naming traditions do you know about? And how was your name chosen? What names are considered beautiful? What names are considered ugly? Okay, these are the questions that you're going to be discussing, but later you're going to be practicing this style. So these two activities in this section. <coughs> the dialogue says, say, Sonia, how did you choose your children's names? Wow, why do you want to know that? Don't tell me you're pregnant. Yeah, and I just found out that they are twins. Hey, has to be celebrated. Yes, and how about choosing the right names? Ah, that, don't worry, just keep the names simple. No ex-boyfriend's names, no names for pets, no repeated names. That, that creates confusion. But how did you go about choosing the names? Discuss it with your husband and choose strong, beautiful names. Go for traditional names, but not those from calendars, okay? Right, thanks. Now I have a better idea. Okay. Say, Sonia, how did you choose your children's names? Wow, why do you wanna know that? Don't tell me you are pregnant. Yeah, and I just found out they are twins. Hey, that has to be celebrated. Yes, and how about choosing the right names? Ah, oh, that, don't worry, just keep the names simple. No ex-boyfriend's names. No names for pets, no repeated names. That creates confusion. But how did you go about choosing the names? Discuss it with your husband and choose strong, beautiful names. I'd go for traditional names, but don't, not those from calendars, okay? Right, thanks. Now I have a better idea. Okay, children's names. Choose, no, pregnant, found out, twins, celebrated. How about choosing the right names? Don't worry, keep the names simple. Ex-boyfriend's names, names for pets, repeated names. Confusion, that creates confusion. How did you go about choosing the names? Discuss it with your husband. Choose strong, beautiful names. I'd go for traditional names, traditional names, but not those from calendars, okay? Right, thanks. Now I have a better idea. Okay, now this is, the dialogue that you're going to be practicing, and these are the questions that you're going to be 
discussing in the group. Okay, now we are 23 people. We're 23, so I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to go into the groups. I'm going to create five groups. Then the groups are beginning. This is page 11, page 10 and 11. Eleven, no, eleven and Okay. I mean, you are in group three. Okay. Let's see, some groups are very small. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lourdes. How are you? Mm, we have a problem. Uh, we don't share a screen. Oh, try now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay, we we'll start. Vale, si quieren yo soy María. Yeah. Vale, ¿quién va a ser Sonia? Mi Sonia, it's okay. Okay. Say Sonia, how did you choose your children names? Wow. Why do you want to know that? Don't tell me you are pregnant. Yeah. And I just found out that they are twins. Hey, that had to be celebrated. Yes. And how about choosing the right names? Uh, that don't worry. Just keep just keep the names simple. Simple. No ex bro boyfriends. Names. Not names for pets. Not repeated names. That create confusion. But how did you go about choosing the names? Discuss it with your husband and choose strong, beautiful names. I'll go for traditional names, but not those from calendars, okay? <laughs> right, thanks. Now I have better idea. Okay. Bye. Bye. Si quieren, soy Sonia y Osmin María. Ok. Uh, say, Sonia, how did you show your children names? Wow. Why do you want to know that? Don't tell me you are pregnant. Yeah. 
And I just found how that they are twins. Hey, that has to be celebrated. Yes. And how about choosing the right names? Ah, that. Don't worry. Just keep the names simple. No ex-boyfriend's names, no names for pets, no repeated names. I have one daughter. I have a baby, Darwin. <laughs> In this moment, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I think name baby's name is to recognize. Yes. It's important. It's important. Um, yes. uh, uh, recognize in the sociedad, social, sociedad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Society. Other, uh, society. So, what? Society. Society. Okay. Okay. And the name, the different, the other person, the other baby. Yes. And Gloria? Um, what is baby name important, Gloria? It's, um, they are, they are, right? It's, um, mm. <laughs> Según la, según los derechos universales. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Second question. Okay. What, what are baby's name Susan? Uh, I generally uh, Family nice baby uh, calendar calendar mm -hmm. in, in the Biblia in the personal uh, the Biblia uh, mm -hmm. Jose from the Bible uh, Maria Maria in, in, on the history. And actually, an actor, choose actor, <laughs> and novels, <laughs> situation different. <laughs> the, uh, so very frequent for, for the name by parent? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Or nobody? No, no, only. Ah, okay, for example, my kid, my boy, the name of my boy is Gabriel Armando. Nobody calls my, the father doesn't, doesn't, uh, the, the, the name doesn't have to, <clears throat> nothing to do. Because no, I choose, I choose Gabriel because I like it, Gabriel Omar Batistuta. Wow. <laughs> the, the, the soil player and Armando by Diego, Diego Armando Maradona. Wow. <laughs> Yes, yeah. that's the name of my kid, Gabriel Armand. Incredible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm a, I'm a, a player soccer fan. Yes. <laughs> soccer <laughs> player fan. Yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. And my my daughter called uh, the name of my my daughter is Catherine Alexandra. Yeah. I choose. Yeah. I I like it. I I say I like this name. And I put the name. <laughs> Nobody calls uh, in that way in the family. Okay. What names? What names are considered beautiful? Rosa. <laughs> wow. It's my name. <laughs> Nelson. My my daughter, Sophia. Sophia. My son. Fabio. Okay. In the... <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. I consider beautiful. <laughs> yes, <are> beautiful. <laughs> I would 
sometimes I say, oh my God, my name is Rosa. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I have wow. to change my name. <laughs> yes, I don't know. But I used to that the people call me Rosa Elena. That's okay. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> but <laughs> only Rosa. Yeah, yeah. For our ear, ear, you know. Yes. Number two, how are babies' mm -hmm. names chosen? Well, I, I am. I have a a daughter. Yeah. So when when we decided the name, we are looking not for for commonly names in El Salvador. So we look in internet. We search in internet and. In the end, we decided a, a French name. So my daughter's name is Eliot. But before we decided finally that name, we investigated in the in the how is the R N P N R N P N Pondui Center, and so in El Salvador. There were six names. Eliot, my daughter, is the number seven. E for E for Yes. Okay. What about your case? Sorry, I I have a four. Practice again. Sure. Only, only we have the practice, the conversation. You finish answering the questions. ¿Cuál es? Uh, <laughs> that was first. Uh, ah, yeah. Yes. These questions were first, and then the dialogue. Okay. Mm. Bueno, pero hemos practicado súper bien el diálogo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is a baby's name important? Mm, for me, because it's a uh, identified a uh, uh, girl or a boy in your father. <laughs> Your idol. <laughs> what names are considered beautiful? Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> My name is beautiful. Yes. Dice, ¿cuáles nombres son considerados bonitos? ¿Cuáles nombres son considerados bonitos? My uh -huh. name is beautiful. <laughs> Gladys. <laughs> Gladys. Uh <-huh>. Gladys. 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 <laughs> um, other. Other name. Uh, In my case. Esmeralda. I like. Esmeralda. I like. I like Diana, for example. Mm -hmm. Diana. Victoria. And Victoria, also Victoria. Victoria? Mm-hmm. <laughs> good. <laughs> no, it's true. Cosne are considered ugly. Cosne are considered ugly. Ugly. Mm -hmm. Ugly. Mm. Teodoro. Ay, <laughs> Micaela. Micaela es ugly. Micaela. 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 Okay. Yeah, is a name. Sí, no, no. 
Dailago. Okay. Who is that Dailago? Okay. Eh, me. Okay. In, in me. Sound. Okay. Start. You. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Hello. Sonia. How did you choose your children? And when, you, when I say the first time when she, she calls Olga, <laughs> and when I, the, suddenly I see the dog and say, what? Olga, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. <It's> terrible. terrible. <laughs> okay. Okay. You practice, practice Rose. Yes, practice with Flor? me, Nelson. Okay, Flor, or you? I don't know. Okay. You, you Maria. Okay. <clears throat> Say, Sonia, how did you choose your children's names? Whoa, well, why do you want to know that? Don't tell me you are pregnant. Yeah, and I just found out that they are twins. Hey, that has to be celebrated. Yes, and how about choosing the right names? Ah, uh, that, don't worry, just keep the names sample. No ex-boyfriends names, no names for fit, no repeated names that creates confusion. But how did you go about choosing the names? Discussion it with your husband and choosing a strong, beautiful names. I go for traditional names, but go, but not those from calendars, okay? Right, thanks. Now I have better idea. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, question, but, but, but the question number three is the tradition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tradition, no, no, no extreme <laughs> Mortal Kombat or the Rambo, I don't know. In yes. Your, I think. Uh, Fatality Jose, le van a poner. Jose, <laughs> or, or, or the Biblic. Biblic. Yeah. For, for example, I, I have two. Do you know about choosing Bible? For me, it's important and the signification, the number names. The meaning, the meaning. Okay. El significado del nombre es muy importante porque a veces ponemos nombres de los cuales tienen right. significados no adecuados, digamos, y no lo sabemos y solo lo ponemos por. In English, Angelita. Porque no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Hi, teacher, Patience, please. Patins, please, teacher. I think the number is important name, name is. for me because and the signification, mean. signification, mean, mean, uh, I don't know the, the father. <laughs> Sorry, I it's was. Depending the, the signification uh, for children, for is le pone Jesús. Imagínate, bicha, está fumando. Jesús, deja de fumar, Leo. No, o sea, yo siento que no. O sea, hoy ya, hoy ya está bien. Eche, en inglés, ¿verdad? Significa yeah. number. Sorry, my friend. Yeah, in, sorry, I, I want to participate because I have three, I have three grandchildren. And first name is Asaf. The second name is a Naara. And the three is a Gamaliel. So oh, like I, I, the, the, the three the three names are biblical, but I, I I don't I don't know about what this means uh, asaf or nara so but is is not my <laughs> decision but it's no. a good it's a beauty it's a beauty name yeah yeah voy a decir algo en español porque lo voy a decir quizás porque es bien importante okay. ponerle, <laughs> ponerle no ponerle un buen nombre al 
niño porque le voy a decir por qué. Disney. Yeah. Only that. In my case, my, my father's name is Rafael. My name is Rafael, and the son's name is Rafael. Mm. <laughs> Three Rafael in my family. For me, um, it's, the, it's the, the family. I don't yes. have a problem that. I don't have a problem that. Yes. If, if you like a name, it's a very, it's a, it's a good idea put the name your son or your daughter for example and use me yes uh, the tradition and uh, in the family uh, when when born new baby in the family mm -hmm. is the name father the name mother grandfather also yeah it is a tradition put name father the brother the sister depend of the familiar group the side okay yes for example the How do you say religiosos? Ah, religious, creo, maybe. I, religious. Religious. The, no. the, the religion family, uh, their tradition is put uh, names of only holy book. Hmm. Okay. Okay, number four. How was your name chosen? Mm, how was your name chosen? Um, me pusieron mi ah. In my case, my my uh, my grandfather. Uh, I propose, teacher, is, is correct? Proponer? I propose the name. Ah, okay. Propose the name uh, Beatriz because uh, he liked this name and, and he gave this idea to my, my parents. And Lourdes was because my mother liked the names and my father agreed with the name. And you ask me? In my case, it's easy. Rafael it for my father and Ernesto it for my grandfather. Oh, okay. You lost me? Que no terminó o todavía continuamos, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, okay. Creí que nos habían sacado. Oh. How are you name? Eh, in my case the name is I, I I know the history over my name. Tal como aparece en el ejemplo de Liga. Sí, fíjese que a mí no me sale ni dándole. No me sale. A mí solo uno. Solo one sentence. I have a, I have a good. Other. I have a problem in the homework. <laughs> In the sentence number two, the homework number four, I don't remember. Four. four sí. um, number four. Ahorita, ahorita. Four. Le digo. 
stay, stay, teacher. Ya la, ya la puse hasta en arameo, teacher, y no me sale. Yes. Ok. I'm going to check it. The, 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 plat the platform exercise uh, class yesterday. Ok. It's about the enough, enough plus nouns, right? Enough. Enough. Este... Enough time, enough. Mm -hmm. The sentence start or product eh, offer a no. Offer, no, no accept, no accept. Offer enough, but no accept. Ah, okay, because it is our product, slant, offer, but you have to write offers. Product, no. third person. I'll, I'll product, I'll offer, I'll enough. I'll, no. I'll, I've, he probado agregándole este y I'm not, nothing. Okay. Nada, nada, nada. Capital, capital. Did you begin with capital? Capital, capital. Capital. Uh, yes, capital. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But foul. I person. The foul capital. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm going to check because to tell you the truth, right now I can't because Zoom doesn't have enough capacity for many programs to be open. So I cannot open and be projecting. So I'm going to check and I'm going to see. Uh, I'm not supposed to tell you the answers, but I'm going to see what, how I can help you, okay? Thank you, Teach. Sure, no problem. Because capitals, periods at the end, if you use capitals, if you use the correct order, if you put enough, and the noun, and then enough features, because it says enough features, and uh, I don't remember what else, because it's the one that we did yesterday in class. We did it. Did, did it yesterday. Yes, you remember that I sent I sent you the file yes. after class. Yes, yes. You have the answer the exact. Exactly right, the platform. Are you sure that you didn't leave a space? No dejaron espacio así entre el inicio. No, no. no. only a space. Only a space. Only one space. Okay, so no. 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 Let me check. No, can't in this one. Can't in the other. Let me see. Let me let me see what you're talking about. Perhaps I can see it. I will not project it because not supposed to, but maybe I can give you an idea of what in what about what you're talking about. <clears throat> it's section two. Uh, section, uh, 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 section two, yes. Section four. number four, right? It's because uh -huh. in number it's four, number... the, the midterm. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Let's see. It's low. Let me see if it, if it loads. I hope it doesn't take me out because I'm supposed to be projecting. All right, let me see. Number four, you said, right? Homework number 2.4, 2.4 is a video. 2.4 is a video. It's a video about the class. And uh, no discussion for that one yet. Okay, so number four, there is no, 
No problem in this one. Okay, you mean maybe number five? But number five is about the about product, price, place, and promotion. That's number five. Maybe it's number number two. Yes. No, it's not number two either. Five, uh, maybe it's eight. No. It's not, it's not eight. This is adjective plus. Okay. These are some questions, so this cannot be. Are you sure that is in this section? Oh, sorry. I think that this is no with no recommendation with this name for the children. Okay. So yeah. No, um mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't, I can't see what you're seeing. No, it doesn't, it doesn't give me that, it doesn't give me that, that answer. So let me, check, let me check after class and then we will talk about that. Right now, we're going to go back to the main groups. Okay, my friends, let's see. We discussed some of the questions. Why is a baby's name important? Opinion? Yes, yes teacher. Why? Why is an, a baby's name important? Where for me, uh, the the is import, important the name because is your identity in the family, uh, in my is my my daughter or, or, or my son is important is is a loss is a star star good name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, for me, I agree with you. Nish. Yes, it's true. Thank you. Somebody else has another opinion? Why a baby name is important? Yes, teacher, it's important for identifying the society. Okay, to find a place in society? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, of course. Thank you. Somebody else? Why is a baby's name important? In the future, if the person is going to have a possession, like a house, a car, etc., it's going to be in the person's name. And also, if the person is going to go to school, the person is going to be enrolled in a system. And if she or he doesn't have a name, it's like he or she doesn't exist, right? 
So it's like you were saying, it's the identity of the person. And it's the yeah. way to introduce yeah, a teacher. person into society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, include, include teacher, sorry, but the, her, our name is a song our, for our ears. It's a song, yeah, it's music to our ears. Music, yeah. Music to our ears. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's an insult to our ears. Sometimes the name is not really beautiful. Our parents chose it, uh, we don't like it, but it is our name. Why did you name it like that? Ah, because your grandfather. Mama, ¿por qué no está parado? Mira. Right? I hate the name you say. How are they chosen? Me dieron revuelta. Otro día yo te pusieron. Yo. Okay. Yo revuelta, quiero. Nos va a dar hambre, Ophelia. I like to push the cheese. How are baby's names chosen, my friends? I, I want pupusas. <laughs> yes. Hoy le voy a mandar un poquito. I am hungry. <laughs> to speak about pupusas and I have a hungry. Yes, porque le dé ánimo. You're hungry, okay. Uh -huh. Chocolate. So, it's the best t-shirt. Uh -huh. It depends, right? For example, any, any uh, some father uh, like or want to uh, put the uh, same names. Yeah, they want to repeat the for, name for, for, for their babies. For their babies. Yeah. Even if they hated their names, they give the same name to the baby. Right? Poor yes. baby. <laughs> Poor baby when he grows. <laughs> yeah, yes. That's true. Baby, baby names chosen uh, according to an actress or an actor mm -hmm. or a singer. Or a soccer player. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. From a yeah. famous person. Or, from opera. Or like my grand, grand, grandfather. <laughs> or my grand, grand, grandmother names. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Yeah. Okay. From from the Bible. You take him from the Bible. We have like Moses. Josh. Okay. Joshua. Abraham. Names like this. Okay. From the Bible. Okay, but there are ugly names from the Bible too. Okay, they're ugly names. Um, in uh, Acts, in the book of Acts, there are some names, oh my goodness. Paul is saying hello to these brethren, but we say, mm -mm, don't use those names, okay? Don't call your children like that, right? Some, okay. But anyhow, what other ways? Calendar, from calendars, okay? From tradition, like Tlaloc, like um, Tech. Like the, Mexi like, like the Mexican player, Cuauhtémoc. Cuauhtémoc. Imagine Cuauhtémoc, oh my God. <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> in my opinion, right? Yeah. I have a friend that works in the family register. Okay. And so we have discussing about this topic the last week. So she said that nowadays the people is using names of famous soccer player or famous actors, even though without being carefully with the meaning of the names. And this is dangerous because when the when those children grows up, then maybe suggest to to bullying, they will be, um, como le dije? Criminated. Yeah, because nowadays the young father are not looking the meaning from the names and only Osuna and many other names that, that I guess don't have a, 
a, a beautiful mean, for example, right? So when those children come up bigger or, or younger, maybe they will be bullying, bullying right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's see. How was your name chosen? Why did they name you? I name. You can say I was named after my uh -huh. my mother name is Rosa and my grandmother name was Elena. That's my name, Rosa Elena. Rosa Elena. Yeah. <laughs> it was Rafael, right? Rafael's name is... What's your father's name, Rafael? My, my father's name is Rafael and my grandfather's name is Ernesto. Okay, so you got Rafael Ernesto, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. That, that's nice, okay. Very good. So, what names are considered beautiful? We take the, the names of this group. Yes. Okay. So, some names are beautiful, some names are ugly. You may think about which they are beautiful and which they are ugly. Okay, now, why are we talking about this? Because we're going to be talking about branding. Branding, giving a product a name. We're giving a name to a product, right? So, but first let's see who is present, who is absent. Then we're going to be talking about that, okay? Let's see. Ada Patricia. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie. Okay. Anna Selmi. Anna Selmi didn't come. Okay. Anna Michelle Guevara. Present. Excellent. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Very good, nice. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Present. Excellent, nice. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Okay, nice, my friend. Very good. Lourdes del Carmen Iraeta. Del Carmen, <laughs> teacher. Lourdes Patricia. Sí, sorry, I'm changing your name. Guadalupe del Carmen. Lourdes del Carmen. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's name only. <laughs> okay. Yes, Lourdes, Lourdes Beatriz, no Lourdes del Carmen. Okay. <laughs> you are here, my friend. Excellent. Sorry. Okay, Mayra Melanie Guevara. No, not here today. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Excellent, my friend. That's good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Excellent. Good. Osmin Baires. Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Pamela Posada. Pamela didn't come today, right? So, okay. Well, uh, Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Present. Excellent. Nice. Roselena Salgado. Present. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Sandra Gladys Mendes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Yancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Yan didn't come today either. Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Excellent, nice. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present. Very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. 
no Marvin today. René Osvaldo Bonilla. No René either. Ros, uh, Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. Excellent. Nice. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Dani Adalberto Fuentes. No. Ok. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Excellent. Eduardo Hernán Ernesto Hernández. No. Ignacio Franco. Here teacher in my in my warm bedroom. <laughs> in Soyapango, you know. <laughs> yes, I know, my friend. That's good. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Carlita didn't come. Okay. I saw Jancy's hand. Jancy dice que no se le funciona el micrófono, teacher. Okay. Pero está presente. Okay. Good. I didn't see her in the group either, so that's why I, I didn't. No, Yancy, Yancy was in our group, teacher. Really? Yeah. I saw her in the group of the people that don't enter the, the group, the classes. But in a moment, she stayed with us in the group. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yes, Catherine Dominguez. Who is Catherine Dominguez? Uh, yeah, because Catherine Dominguez sends a message. She's going to be connected as a poyente. I don't know. Catherine Dominguez. I have no idea who she is. Teacher Yancy right uh, in the chat uh, the the enough the, the micro micro your microphone no function. My microphone is not working. No, it's the Jansi. Ah, Jansi's microphone. Did you check the preview? Yes, mm -hmm. in the chat, the writer, the message. Okay. Teacher Catherine Dominguez, Dominguez is uh, English Corporativo. It's of English Corporativo. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, because I see Catherine Dominguez, I don't know her. Okay, so, all right. Uh, is, so she's going to be, okay, I'm going to put her present because she raised her hand and I see that she's here. The idea is that if you are here, you raise your hand or you say hi, okay, and I see you, I put you present, okay? If you, if I don't see you, I didn't see you, right? But I saw you, I saw her, so she's going to be present. Let's continue. Now let's, we get to a match. Before we get to the match, what's a brand name? What's a brand name? Any ideas what a brand name is? Slight idea is the, the, the brand name is the name that you give to your product exactly. when you decide to launch to the market. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's the, it's the name that you register. It's the name that you register for your product. Exactly. It's a, it's a commercial. Yeah, it's a commercial name. It's like when your baby is born, you register your baby. And you keep that baby that name. And the name that appears in the birth certificate, that is the, the legal name, the legal name of the child. So the brand name is the name with which you register your program, your product. And this is the brand name, okay? Like Coca-Cola is a brand name. Toyota is a brand name, okay? Like if you think about cars, all the names that you have, Hyundai, Toyota, Mitsubishi, etc., they are brand names, okay? Now, what's brandy? What's brandy? In the past, uh, branding was 
getting a hot rod to put on an animal. You have a symbol that you put on the animal, okay, with yours, uh, you, you say the symbol that represented you, put it on the skin of the animal, burn that. And that animal had your mark. That was branding, like the cowboys call that branding, uh, marking the animal. Okay. So, Teacher, for example, el cadejo, you know. El cadejo? What, yeah. about, what about el cadejo? <laughs> it's, a, it's a popular, <laughs> popular tale of, in El Salvador. In a, in a brand beer, you know. Yes, that is the brand of a beer, Cadejo. Uh -huh. Yeah. So branding is giving a name to a product. Branding. Okay. How do we create a brand name? What things do we need to consider before giving a brand name? What characteristics? do you think it should have? A new name? Yes, an original name. Why original? We don't want people to confuse your product with an existing product. Because every time that you advertise your product, you are advertising somebody else's product. So the name has to be original, okay? It doesn't have to be repeated, it has to be original so that people know what you are referring to. Okay, what else, what's another characteristic besides being original? Be attractive. Yeah, it has to be attractive and easy to remember. Easy, easy to remember. If you give it's promotional, uh -huh. yeah, so that for example, for example, Oscar de la Renta is promotional, yes. Mm -hmm. exactly. Oscar de la Renta gave his name to his brand, okay. So, okay, so what else? Okay, so it has to be original. Easy to remember. What else? What other characteristics? Uh, for example, uh, some image okay. that you put in your brand. Yes, maybe easy to combine with a logo. Logo type. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be. That is for promotion reasons. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. So original, easy to remember, easy to associate. Okay. Something that you may associate to, if you food, to as associate with food or associate with what you are selling. Okay. So. What's another characteristic that the brand name has to have? Besides being original, easy to remember and easy to associate. What else? Another, another thing that comes to your mind that is a characteristic when you create a brand name Yes. The maybe the look looks attractive, attractive and call the attention of the people of the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. It's, it's attractive. It's easy to remember. It's original. It's easy to associate. Okay. Yeah, those things are important when you create a name. In a, okay. Why is this important? 
what happens if your, your name is not original? You need to register the name. You cannot, maybe you cannot register the name because it already exists. Mm -hmm. What else? Legal problems. You, you may have legal problems if you legal. Yes. legal problems if you register a name that already exists. It creates confusion. Okay. The customer don't feel in identify with, with, the, with the product. With the product, with the company. Yeah. Uh, it's true, okay. What happens if the name is easy to remember? It's easy to promote. Uh, the, old, the, old, the old people say her name. Uh -huh. All the people can repeat the name and say it, okay? If we use international names that are difficult to pronounce, difficult to understand, we don't know the, the meaning so we can confuse the, the customers. Okay, let's continue. Now let's move to this one. This one, we're going to do it together. <coughs> These are the words, product design, after sales services, brand features, product positioning, okay? These ones we're going to mix. We're going to match with the definitions, match the words or expressions to their meanings. So the words are the process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the customers. The use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace, a unique identity. Characteristics of a product that describe its appearance, components, and capabilities. To create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. Help, and here it says an information. Okay, the help and information that is provided the customers after they have bought a particular product. Okay, now let's begin one by one. We're going to read this and we'll match them here. The process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the consumers. What do you think that is? Okay, I'll give you an idea. Uh, uh, it, appears, it appears in movies, films, okay? Appears in movies, in films, or on television, like you see actors wearing the brand, et cetera. The brand. So what are, we, uh, what are we doing with the product? We are creating an image of the product in the mind. We are not saying, hey, this is it, but the actor is wearing it. The soccer player is wearing it. People that we admire are wearing it. Then we are creating an image of, of a product in the minds of the consumer. Hey, he's famous and he's wearing it. I want to be famous. I want to wear it. Is the product design? Product design? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. Product positioning. Oh, the features. Product positioning. Uh -huh, product positioning. Uh -huh. So we're going to call this number five, Mambo number five. So let me see, I'm going to uh, change the color here. Allow me. Okay. So let's use number five. What about the use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace? Brand. Brand. Perfect. We say brand. Characteristics of a product that describe its appearance, components, and capabilities. Features. 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 Perfect. 
Features. Yes, that's correct. Features. Okay. To create a new product to be sold by a business to its customer. Okay. Product, product design. design. Excellent. Product design. That's good. And the last one, the help and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product. After say service. After say service. Services. Sales. Services. Excellent. Very good. Now let's move to the next one. Advertising, personal sales, sales promotion, sponsor, public relations. Now we say promotions designed to create a short-term increase in sales. Building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Sales interaction between the firm's representative and a consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. basis. A form of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote or sell a product. A person, organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. Okay, let's begin for, with number one. Promotions designed to create a short-term increase in sales. This has to do with 30% of number five. Sales promotion. Sales promotion, exactly. Building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Public relations. Public relations. Relations. Exactly. Ah, I put here. I put the five. Okay. It's blue five. Let's remove it. Okay. Public relations. Okay. 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 Sales. Interaction between the firm's representative and a consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. Personal sales. Personal sales, correct. Number two. Yes. A form of marketing that employs an open sponsor message to promote or sell a product. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and user number four. Mm -hmm. for example. Advertising. Advertising, maybe. Advertising, correct. Uh, the next one, a person, organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. Sponsor, exactly. You see, it wasn't difficult. You are very smart, then we did it. All right, now let's move to the last task. Put into practice. <clears throat> Two questions. Why is a marketing plan important? Because it prepares what? In the first, because it's the guy you can go for your sales. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I couldn't really understand. It was background, background noise. Why is a marketing plan important? Uh -huh. I think it's important because it's the guide. Okay, yes. Thank you. What else? Why is a marketing plan important? If you see your product. 
Yeah. I think that with the marketing plan, you target uh, uh, your ideal customers. Your ideal customers. Uh -huh. you, you map uh, the areas where you're going to be selling the product and you prepare for eventualities, prepare for problems, for situations that may come against the product. Yes, of course. And you think about things that include, include teacher. We need to keep at the budget. Mm -hmm. Yes. In oh. the in the marketing is important. Include the budget. Yes, when you make a plan, you think about how much you have and how much you're going, I mean, how you're going to spend it, how you're going to distribute the money into the different aspects of the business. Uh -huh. Promotion, uh, placing, et cetera. Uh -huh. Of course, that is another thing. Now, what kind of details would you include? What kind of details would you include in the market? You remember that we studied the four P's, right? What are the four P's? Promotion, place. Uh -huh. Product, price, promotion, and place. Uh -huh. Exactly. Those are the four P's. These four P's have different characteristics. So they need to be included in the marketing. Now we're going to see a, an, an idea of how we're going to distribute this. Complete using product, promotion, and place. I'm going to help you with the first part. All the letters. My friends, in, <coughs> in the first one, I want you to look over here. Okay. You get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? It's because we're talking about the first item. What's the first item? Of the four Ps, you remember the four Ps? Here you have at the top, product, service, price, promotion, and place. So what do you think is the first? It's product. product. Hmm? Yeah. If you notice the questions all have to do with the product. It says the product. What does your product do? Okay, the next one. How much does your product cost? Price. Exactly. Talks about price. Second, about price. And okay, number letter C. Where will you sell the product? Okay, what? The place. Another one? The place? The place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where will you sell it? This is the place. Where will you sell it? How mm -hmm. will you advertise the product? This is Tax promotion. 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 All right, my you have half half the work. This you have half the work done. All you're going to do is answer the question. But these are going to be answering the questions in the group. You're going to be completing this. How are we going to do this? You will see. This is the project. Choose a product or service that you use every week. Then create a marketing plan, marketing plan for this product. Use the questions above as a guide, then present it to the class. Okay, imagine that you want to say, um, I'm going to take Coca-Cola as my product. Hi, teacher, you use a very easy one. Okay, no, I'm going to use Rayovac. Okay, because you say that Rayovac is Rayovac, but we say Rayovac. So Rayovac, you get to give the product a new brand name, that, that name, what name do you choose? And we say the name is a name that is already given. So, Rayovac. Ryo back. Okay. Now, what does your product do? It provides energy. It provides energy 
what type of energy? Electrical energy, right? Provides energy to what? Radios, uh, remote controls, etc. Okay, two gadgets. Okay, now then, how much does your product cost? And we say that it costs $2 per unit, right? $2 per unit? Per unit. Yes. Like one battery yes. costs $2. <clears throat> okay. Let's imagine. $2. $2. $2. Mm -hmm. $2 per unit. We're why just we're okay. Um, will you use any special price for <laughs> sales events? So why is that basic? Okay. I'm going to sell uh, by five and I give you one more. One if you buy five. Mm -hmm. Okay. One if you buy five. If so, which strategies do you plan to use? Um, maybe make packages of six. With the price of five. Okay, made packages of six with the one extra is okay. The next one. Where will you sell your product? Where do you think? In supermarket. At stores and supermarkets. The stores, not stores. Sorry. And uh, Super Market. markets. Okay, we'll have room for that. Where will you position, position your product? Yeah, your location, your target comes. top shelf, busy street corner, etc. And did it say next to the cashier? Next to the cashier. Maybe you have seen that there are a lot of yeah, products yeah. next to the cashier. Sometimes people say, hey, I didn't remember. I had to take batteries. When they are paying, they see them and they take them. Okay, how will you advertise the product? How? And the social network. Okay. Social media. Social On the media. spot and the TV. And TV, okay. Radio and TV sport, okay. Radio and uh, TV sports. Okay, okie dokie. All right, another one. Who is your target customer? Everybody. Everybody, right? Everybody. Okay. So this is an example. Similar to this, you're going to think about a product. Choose a product or service that you use every week. Then create a marketing plan for this product. Use the questions above, that. then present it to the class. Okay. So basically you're going to complete this. Of course about a, a product that you're going to Let's go to the group. Then you're going to present it to the class in one minute.
What a minute, I am looking a slide. que podría ver. Zulma, ¿estás ready? Ahorita le digo, estoy en las nubes. O sea, no sé qué está. ¿Está solmita o no está? Sí está. Y, y de hecho, de hecho, hay una... Y Sandra, hay usted una puede proyectar, compartir. De cada módulo, mm. en el cual nos repiten y nos repiten y nos repiten de que es una cámara de seguridad Creo que nosotros en el grupo que tenemos tenemos que educar a los Guadalupe, ¿are you present your screen? Soy en este módulo, soy lo mismo. O sea, no entiendo el profesor lo que hago, porque tengo que estar adivinando qué es. Eso es mi problema. Ni siquiera lo que está haciendo las cosas. Yo no puedo. Por lo mismo, por lo que los. Yo no puedo. Estoy en el teléfono. ¿Qué? ¿Sabe qué? Va, ahorita quiero, voy, ah, no, pero es que ya eliminé todos los mensajes. Es que se me ha llenado la memoria de tantas presentaciones. Sí, pero, ¿cómo, cómo? Teacher, can you explain, explain us one more time, please? Ok, sure. Okay, let me see. What you have to do is uh, you have the next the next element. Okay, let's see. We have the instructions here, right? Choose a product of service, like the example that I gave you. You remember what example did I choose? Coca-Cola, right? No, then I said no, better not, Rayovac. And I chose Rayovac, right? So then I, cre I created what? A market product roughly using what guide? The guide that is in the next page, okay? The one that is before this page, okay? So uh, what are you going to use? The questions that you have over there. Where are you going to sell the product? Okay, what product is it? Where are you going to sell it? How are you going to sell it, etc. That is the, basically the plan. Okay, that's what you have to do is similar to what I did that I completed with Ryovac. Okay, so you're going to use the questions above as a guide. Then you're going to present to the class what you did, similar to the, the example that I gave. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, guys. Choose a product or service. Entonces, claro. Sí. Entonces, da, entonces no ese, ese forma ese, parte ese. del problema también. No, no, porque eso no tiene que interferir a la hora que el teacher está hablando. Y en mi problema es cuando él está dando las instrucciones. Yo no le entiendo por la interferencia de los micrófonos abiertos. Esa es mi queja. Esa es mi queja. Cuando estamos solo con ustedes, cuando estoy en una sala aparte, por mí no hay problema. El problema es cuando el teacher está dando la clase y a mí me interesa mucho sí, entenderle tres, al profesor. Tres, Entonces, créanme que es un dolor de cabeza todos los días porque estarle escuchando el dat, 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 dat así, no puedo entenderle yo a él. Y sí, es por eso de que, de que yo le digo a él Ahora que tenga paciencia consigo, porque yo no le puedo entender. Así le digo. Y por eso es que estoy, yo le digo, yo no, yo no pongo, apaguen los micrófonos, porque a mí me da pena. No, solo, solo. Pero ahorita yo estoy que, uy, porque no entendí nada de lo que él estuvo hablando en, la, en estas anteriores, en, en estas la, dos, en tres clases. ¿Cómo se llama? Diapositivas anteriores. No le entendí sí, nada. Estamos. Nada le entendí. Vaya, oye, pero esto, Porque se escuchan eh, niños eh, gritando, porque se escuchan personas hablando, se escuchan personas riéndose. Entonces, 
Ay, disculpe, me parece igual, que sí me molestó Patricia, en el sentido de que... Patricia, igual, igual nosotros escuchamos a su hermana que está hablando ahí. Entonces, para Ahorita nosotros que es, bien difícil, es, bien difícil, es bien difícil entender porque, o sea, o sea, en cualquier lugar vamos a encontrar cualquier interferencia. O sea, hay que tratar la manera como usted dice, o sea, de... de, de, de de tratar por eso de le digo lo que tenemos, pero no se enfoca en ese punto negativo. No, mal. no, Usted disculpe, yo lo que le digo es... Nosotros necesitamos también, ¿verdad? El teacher, yo le digo a la Entonces, hora que el teacher punto, no me está dando la clase, punto. ¿no? ¿Me entiende? Yo sé, o sea, yo sé, pero no se ponga así. No, le, le digo, o sea, me, no, me, no, no se va a dar nada, me... pues. Ajá, ahorita me siento un poquito molesta y quiero que me entienda. No le entendí nada al profesor y desde el mismo momento que yo estoy aquí sentada es porque yo quiero aprender. Pero ya el profe hoy no le entendí nada, nada, nada. Ajá. Y le digo, soy de las personas que no me gusta escribir nada porque, sí. pues, se entiende, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, yo entiendo que escuchan a mi hermana y como el grupo de ella me escucha a mí. Eso se entiende, ¿verdad? Pero yo, a mí me interesa más cuando el profesor está dando la clase. Esa es la que nos interesa más. Sí, eso es obvio. Eso es obvio que nos interesa más lo que dice el teacher. O sea, sí, oye, el lo, lo que queremos es aprender, ¿verdad? No, 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 no nos interesa escuchar lo de, lo, lo de las otras personas, ¿verdad? Pero igual, o sea, no se pongan en ese punto, pues que tratemos la manera de, de aprender lo que podemos. No, yo le sí, sí. igual, a mí me ha tocado igual y, y, y yo, yo lo que hago es, le voy a dar un consejo, yo lo que hago es que después veo los videos que están en la plataforma y ahí voy recapitulando, voy recapitulando poquito por poquito, igual con la plataforma que nos ha puesto él, con, el, con, el, con las notas, ahí se va sacando. O sea, es bien, este, este módulo sí, en línea, créanme, no solo a usted le está costando, yo fui a los presenciales y para mí fueron súper originales, pero hay que adaptarnos sí. a lo que tenemos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, Entonces, correcto. Entonces, es bien pero, difícil ¿sabes? aprender así, sí, es bien difícil, a mí me cuesta porque yo soy bien técnico y entonces, entonces, eh, no nos pongamos negativos. Porque queda, queda no, 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 grupo, no, por eso, que fíjense, bien, pues, justamente por eso es que yo no había hablado, ajá, justamente por eso yo no había hablado durante estas tres semanas, yo callada, no me ha, no me ha gustado el método, pero pues, hoy, ahorita sí, le digo, creo que hasta el sonido, como tengo audífonos, estarle escuchando esa, esa esa cortada de, de voz al profesor, creo que eso hasta eso me ha dado dolor de cabeza ahorita, porque estar escuchando el tat, 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 así, así, literalmente eso es lo que escucho. Entonces, Ada, Ada una, una consulta, todo lo que he hablado en estos tres minutos, he escuchado sí, a su hermana, sé, y a su sé, hermana y poco sé. a usted, fíjese. Sí, sí, yo sé, así es, entonces, no, mi disculpa del caso, si en algún momento lo llegué a molestar, Solo que así como yo los entiendo a ustedes, creo que también ustedes deberían de entender al resto de compañeros, a las personas que tienen el, el micrófono encendido, obvio. Pero entonces, como no es pleito esto, sino que estamos con, con, como compañeros tratando de trabajar en grupo, pues entonces vámonos al trabajo. Ahí me van a disculpar. Y no vuelvo a, ¿Sí? no vuelvo a decir que no, no, perdón. No, 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 hay problema, no, 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 no. no, no hay problema, buen punto, o sea, no hay problema. O sea, nosotros entendemos y, 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 y somos personas, obvio. Entonces, vamos a comprender lo que usted dice. Y sí, tiene razón, en el momento que activa el micrófono y se escucha bien fuerte. Sí, eso sí, tiene razón, completo. Eso sí, nadie se lo va a discutir. Pero tal vez quizás no, no, no ponerse negativa, pues, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque... Ajá, no, que, no, es que... que... Ajá, porque viene de una forma bien, bien, o sea, o sea bien prepotente y, y, y bien negativa. O sea, y la cosa no es así. ¿Verdad? Porque no, no, hombre, pues, nosotros lo respetamos como señorita y todo, ¿Verdad? Pero o sea, no, el, no es en ese punto. Pues. Y, y la cosa es que también a veces los que están en calidad de oyentes son los que por general tienen el micrófono abierto aun cuando el profesor lo cierra tienden a abrirlo y ahí están en esa de abrirlo y abrirlo, ¿Verdad? Yo, al menos yo he identificado eso, pero no obstante no se me hace un poco irresponsable criticar a la, solo al profesor, ¿Verdad? Porque lo que hablamos es que es de todos somos adultos, ¿verdad? Y, es y el respeto es a los demás, ¿verdad? Es que es eso, pero, ¿me entiendes? Pero, sí, sí, no, no, no comparto la idea, solo de echársela al profe, porque como repito... No, 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 no. Yo, al, al profe yo en ningún momento, yo lo que le digo es que no le he entendido al profesor de verdad, y no es que el profesor no se da a entender. El problema es 
¿Qué? Yo, eh, a él no se le escucha bien la, la, lo que habla, pues. O sea, a eso voy. No es que él no sepa, no es que él no pueda dar la clase. Es que el sonido es que, se le oye entrecortado. No, es que le voy a contar una anécdota. A veces cuando tengo ese problema, porque me ha pasado a veces reinicio el teléfono y a veces también es como un problema de red. Al menos yo uso Tigo, pero de repente a veces es ese el problema. Tal vez debería intentar, ¿verdad? La idea es como repetir, no de... buscar soluciones, ¿verdad? No, no, no continuar ni abrir. Créame que yo paso en esto. Yo paso en esto y muchas veces que yo... Vale, como les repito, a nosotros nos educaron en, este, en inglés corporativo de que teníamos que tener las cámaras encendidas y los micrófonos apagados. Para mí es una malcriadeza apagar la cámara porque es falta de, 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 de respeto para el profesor. Es como que estuviéramos presencial y es por eso que yo lo mantengo y, y, y me ven a mí y yo estoy distraída. Pero estoy distraída porque yo no bueno, le entiendo, si ¿me entiende? Entonces, y... este, no, 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 es, no es cuestión de, no es cuestión de, de pleito. Que, que, que yo, bueno, yo sé que mantengo la cámara más apagada, ¿sabes por qué? Porque tengo ese problema de que cuando le siento la cámara, el audio se pierde. Entonces, exactamente, veces no exacta, Entonces, exactamente yo, el mismo problema. Por eso tengo. De la manera de tenerla así y me fui a escuchar, ¿verdad? Perfecto, Porque, o sea, incluso, incluso a veces, escucharla, ajá, que me incluso, a mí, ¿ya? incluso a veces ni, ni la, no, los slides que van pasando, ajá. si uno tiene abierta la cámara y el audio, no se mueven automáticamente, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, si me, me está yo pasando. Nunca, por el por el internet. Yo no... Ajá, es por el internet. Yo nunca había tenido este problema hasta este módulo, por eso lo estoy diciendo. Y como les digo, no soy de las personas que quieren generar discusiones ni nada. Pero ahorita quizás ese, ese sonido tan fuerte del entrecortado del maestro me, me, ha, me ha dolido la cabeza y estoy... Puchica, si estamos aquí es para aprender, ¿verdad? Entonces soy de las personas que me está costando y que hoy por hoy estar con esa interferencia y no es culpa del profesor, yo no se la doy. Eh, quizás la parte de la culpa es que él al ver que tenemos las, los micrófonos encendidos, el apagar ese quizás es la parte de la culpa de él, de ahí por lo demás no, entonces no, mire yo creo que mejor trabajemos mejor trabajemos porque para eso no, nos han hablado es a las no, alas no, es que mire, lo mejor, lo mejor es aclararlo porque igual aquí usted es teacher así no va a tener ningún problema después porque que vean, esto está siendo grabado más de algún momento, pues le pueden como usted dijo, lo pueden culpar a él o lo pueden llamar la atención entonces hay que aclarar las cosas. Es que Igual, ese es no el... Hay, no, hay que, que yo... no hay que dejar ningún problema para él, porque la data, o sea, los necesitados somos nosotros. Correcto. ¿verdad? Entonces, y, y, mire, pues, porque él ya puede. ¿sí? Así es, Entonces, es, es, es que eso ha dicho eso. Si usted que tiene ese problema... Perdón, yeah, pero, por eso le digo yo, yo por eso es que no había dicho nada, disculpe, eh, ay, perdón, su, su nombre se me viene. Sorry, eh, a la Patricia, sorry. En, espéreme, espéreme, espéreme. Solo quiero decir una cosita. Solo quiero decir una cosa. No es buscarle, el profesor, no es buscarle problemas al profesor. Para nada. Solo les estoy, pido, yo solo pido que a la hora de que él esté dando la clase, porque se hace la diferencia. Cuando se apagan los micrófonos, a él se le escucha nítido. El problema es cuando ya tienen dos, tres personas, cuatro, cinco, con los micrófonos encendidos que ya no se le entiende nada. Y pues eso es todo. O sea, solo eso. Y como le digo, no soy persona de andar poniendo quejas. Ay, no, eso sí lo detesto. Pero hoy quizás este, este, que le quise entender y no le entendí nada. Así, así de sencillo, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, solo hay disculpen si se molestaron. Perdón. Okay, um, let me tell you something. I understand that sometimes it's difficult to understand because the microphones are open. And sometimes this causes interference. And uh, sometimes we need to listen again, be patient and understand, right? So I know that. And, uh, but uh, I already talked to my boss about the next course. And I told him next course, mm -mm, I will not teach this the next level. So I'm going to teach a different one. But um, that is because uh, some people talked to him and told him uh, some things like, uh, 
that uh, made it seem like it was something else. And then it's okay, no problem. I understand that. And I know that it's difficult online. So I have been a teacher for many years and uh, I have been subject of critics many times and sometimes are justified. And I have learned from that. Sometimes are not justified and I understand and I, I'm patient and um, I am not more important than you. You are more important than I am. I know that. And uh, I always respect that. And my mission in life is to help. So if people let me help you, I do it and I do it gladly. And if people uh, say something nice, I say, thank you. If people say something that is not nice, but it's the truth, I say, thank you. If the people say something that is not nice and is not true, I say, thank you too. Why? Because I have to be respectful to all the people. Why? Because I am a teacher and I have to give you the example. So I cannot fight even if they are my rights. I'm not going to defend them because like I said, I am not important, but you are important. So when I plan my class, I think about you, how I can make things easy for you, how I can get you to understand the things that I prepare, because the topics are not easy. And the topics are about things that probably are not in interesting to you. So then I try to make them digestible so that you may understand them. So then that's what I try to do. <laughs> but sometimes I know it's kind of difficult. So uh, Patricia, I'm sorry if I caused you a headache. Actually, that's not my intention. It never has been. Uh, my boss already told me like about three times, there are people saying this and this and these things. And I say, thank you for telling me. I will treat them with respect. I will help them. I will never take revenge. I will never say anything bad about them. On the contrary, I'm a professional. I listen, I try to improve, but I don't take it out on people. I try not to offend them because they are my friends and I appreciate them. So then that's what I try to do. So Patricia, if I have offended you, causing you a headache, you, your sister, and maybe other people, I apologize. Actually, like I say from my, from the first, first day of class, my intention has always be, been to clarify things, to help you with the pronunciation, to teach you something new, not because I am better than you, not because I am more important than you, no, because I know this, because I have experience with this, and because I think that I can be of help. My intention has always been to help you. All right? So that's No teacher, pero disculpe que le hable en español. No teacher, no es como le digo yo, no es sino que solo pedir, por favor, como le dije yo al al grupo. No, es la primera vez que yo me quejo de esto. Es la primera vez, pero créanme que mi mi intención de estar frente al uh, en este caso el celular, ¿verdad? El, al video, es, es querer aprender. Y, y me, me cuesta, créanme, teacher, me cuesta estar eh, entendiendo el inglés, pero le estoy captando, ¿me entiende? El problema es cuando se encienden todos los micrófonos. Ese que yo no, no se le entiende, teacher, se le escucha entrecortado. Eso es lo que yo quiero que se entienda. No estoy molesta porque para nada. Simplemente es que se apaguen los micrófonos porque de verdad... Y es cierto lo que lo que dice José Carlos, hay que apagar a veces el, el, la cámara para que se... Y eso lo hago, pero el problema es que eso es continuo, ¿me entiende? Entonces, este, hoy, hoy de verdad la clase estaba bastante interesante, pero usted estaba haciendo los ejercicios y yo no estaba entendiendo nada porque de verdad su voz se oía entrecortada y a la larga esa es mi queja. 
¿Me entiendes? No es, yo no estoy, yo no lo dije para ofender a nadie, solo dije por favor. O sea, todavía lo dije, por favor, ¿verdad? Quizás porque no, yo no hablo el inglés porque a puras penas estoy masticándolo, ¿verdad? ¿Me entiende? Pero, pero es que es lo que yo quiero que se entienda. Eh, como le digo, le dije yo a los otros compañeros, venimos de un módulo que nos están diciendo, apaguen los, apaguen los micrófonos, apaguen los micrófonos, apaguen los micrófonos y, y las cámaras encendidas por respeto a ustedes los profesores. Sí. Y por eso es que estoy yo en ese sentido. Pero ahorita sí le digo, fue, fue tanta la confusión que yo quería entenderle, pero no se le entiende, Ticho. Y eso es lo que yo quisiera que me entendieran. ¿Me entiendes? No es ofender a nadie, Ticho. Porque somos compañeros todos aquí. No me he ofendido en nada. No, a los otros compañeros, Ticho. O sea, los, si los otros compañeros se ofendieron, que me disculpen. Ajá. Solo he pedido, por favor, si ¿sí me entiendes, quizás, solo quizás me exalté, ¿verdad? Pero no ha sido mi intención ofender. Eh, Adita, Adita uh, algo le va a decir suavecito. Usted habla y su hermana sigue hablando, o sea, hablando de los micrófonos y de lo que uno escucha y no escucha. So, eh, de, ya, ya son las 10 pasadas. Sí. Ya quedamos bien claritos de la situación. Teacher, ya usted es uno de los mejores que he tenido en, este, en los cursos. Así que ah, bueno. lo siento, eh, lo siento por quien más, pero yo lo que puedo decir es que voy a apagar el, 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 mic el micrófono. Y ahí vamos a quedar en paz todos con usted, Patri. No, no, no solo conmigo, disculpe, pero es con todos los compañeros. Pero bueno, este... Okay. Solamente, no hay problema por mí, o sea. Yeah, time, time is over. La única forma, la única Hablamos forma el lunes. que a mi hermana es, es cuando estamos en, la, en, en las salas, de lo cual no te escucha ni ella tiene el micrófono encendido ni yo. Ok. Así, ¿verdad? Nice. Hey, good night. Good. I'm going to call roll because it's time to go home, okay? Uh, well, all right, only that. <clears throat> Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Ad Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Yes, welcome on board. Well, we're finishing, so Anna Selmi Chavez, she didn't come today. We missed her. Anna Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. Excellent, nice. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present, teacher, good night. Excellent, nice, very good. Good night. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent, very good. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. José Carlos Argueta. Present, I'm here. Excellent, my friend, very good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. I'm here. Excellent, nice. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Okay. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Teacher. Excellent. Nice. Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Excuse me. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada. She didn't come today. Okay. Um, Rafael Ernesto González. Present tonight. Excellent, good night, take care. Rosa Elena Salgado. Excellent, nice. Sandra Gladys Meléndez. No, Méndez, sorry. Méndez, present teacher, good night. Good night. Nancy Lisbeth Hernández. Present. Excellent, nice. Zulma Rosana López. Present. Excellent, nice. 
Flor de María Carballo. Present. Excellent. Nice. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. The brothers didn't come today. Okay. Uh, Susana Carolina Hernandez. Present teacher. Dani Anthony Sibuenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher, and I believe in your work. Okay, thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending. Uh, tonight, I think that we're going to have uh, the one-on-one -on -one that we have today. Today is Don Osmin stays with yes. me. Yes. Okay. So please stay with me and we're going to work on something that you need. All right, the other people, thank you very much for attending. Okay, God bless you all. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. See you Monday. Thank you. Happy Monday. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Take care, my friends. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Be good. What's mean? How are you doing, my friend? How can I help you? Uh, good night. Good evening, teacher. Excuse me. Good evening. Uh, yes, I, re I am ready for uh, one one. <laughs> yes. Is there a question that you have that I can help you with? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I know. I I know. Understand because have problem uh, in the listening. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is my best problem. The principal problem is listening. The listening, exactly. Uh -huh. But in the class, can you hear me clearly? Uh, yes, I, you, it's, it's, for me, it's clear. Uh, uh, the problem is me and no understand you don't when, have... when uh -huh. another people speak. Okay. Yeah, little by little, little by little, we need to practice. Maybe practicing pronunciation. Uh, yeah. I know that you are in a church, right? You are in a church. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, there is some Christian music that you can listen to. And uh, I like I this Christian music in English. Ah, okay. And That's you cool. can check, you can check the lyrics, check the lyrics check the, the music, listen, yeah. read. As you are listening, you can be, uh, let's say, you can be you can be singing and uh, reading, reading, singing. You're practicing listening, you're practicing mm. pronunciation, and yeah. you're worshiping God, right? Which is the most important. Uh -huh. yeah, yes. You can say three things at the same time, right? That is something yeah. nice that you can do. So in, on YouTube, you can find uh, a lot of uh, music, let's say like this. So all you have to do is think about, for example, about Christian music, there is something that is very interesting and it's very important. And is that the same songs in Spanish are in English because they are in Spanish because they were translated from English. So, mm -hmm. Look for the name, look for the name, check your tooth, put your headphones, check with lyrics, okay? You look for the name of the song with lyrics, okay? Listen, right? Listen, yeah. read, sing. So you are practicing your listening, practicing your pronunciation, and your understanding develops, okay? That is one okay. thing that I can tell you that you could do, okay? What else can you do? Uh, uh, in grammar, I have problems also. Mm -hmm. 
For example, in what area do you have problems in grammar? Uh, in the area when I know the world, the simple past, simple present, in okay. time. Let me give you some ideas. I'm going to share my, my board with you. And you can think about some things that may help you. Okay, I'm going to share it. I have my board here, I'm going to share it with you. Okay, maybe this helps you. Um, okay, first, let's see. For the present, just think about one thing, that the simple present, we have two groups, two groups. We have uh, yeah. I, yeah. you, we, and they. <coughs> and that way when we use the verb normal, right? For example, you can say, I go to school. Okay, we use no difference because with this, the verb doesn't change. I go to school, you go to school, we go to school, they go to school. But if we have like he, the sorry, second group, the second group, we have he, yeah. she, or it, we have to add s. Okay. Goes home early. Imagine you say he goes home early. She goes home early, it goes home early. Now, for the past tense, only think about the past tense of the verb. And the two groups have only one form. What's the past tense of go, went? Only put, went. So you say, I went to school, you went to school, we went to school, they went to school, she, she went to school, okay? Or if you use it with this one, he went home early. She went home early. It went home early. So you have like this, right? No problem. You say, I go to school. I went to school. He, yeah. he goes home early. He went home early. This is for the past tense. And if you want to use present tense, present perfect tense, you say, have, I have gone to school. Let's say, and you have to use the time expression for present perfect, right? Every day this week. Every day this week. And then you say, okay, and for this one, you know that you're going to use has gone, right? Has gone. And then you say, I have gone to school every day this week. You have gone to school every day this week. But with this one, he has gone to school every day this week. She has gone to school every day this week. It has gone to school every day this week. So keeping the two groups clearly distinct. The only one that you have in common is when or when you use the future, okay? Talking about the future. We'll go to school tomorrow. Okay, you say here. I will possible. go to school tomorrow. Uh-huh. They will go to school tomorrow. He will go to school tomorrow. And it doesn't change. She will go to school tomorrow. It will go to school tomorrow. And you have the tenses like that. And if you practice with different verbs, with different sentences, maybe changing the tenses, that can help you, right? Okay. Only change the verbs and, and, and sentences. And uh, yes. change the, the time, time expression and the verb. Verb, no. time expression, verb, time expression. Okay, and you can, you can practice and this can help you. you practice, can practice. Solution. Practice. 
Uh -huh. Yes. Sure. Thank you very much for staying. No, thank you, teacher, for giving me time. Of yes. No, no, it's my pleasure. I am here to help you. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm here to help you. Okay. If you have any questions during the class, something that you don't understand, stop me and say, teacher, sorry, I don't understand. Would you please? I'll be happy to. Yeah. Help. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, this, you go so that you make you. the homework. Uh -huh. Okay. You're, sure. Happy weekend, teacher. Thank you. Friend. Have a nice weekend. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Have a nice I'll see you. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. Bye, my friend. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Yes, teacher. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.